No, before you go, welcome back to uh, HHN week here. We have been covering Horror Nights all week. This is day three. Um, so we've already gone through our top 10 mazes of uh, in the history of Horror Nights uh, since we've attended. Uh, yesterday, we covered our tickets. Um, so if you haven't watched those already, go ahead and check those out. But today we will be covering everything you need to know uh, before you attend Halloween Horror Nights twenty. 23. Uh, but before we begin, Tony, how are you doing on this fabulous Wednesday? Man, I can't believe we're still wearing the same clothes after three days. At least we're taking showers, the very least. But uh, nonetheless, no promises. Doing, we no promises on Sammy's end, but at least on my end, I, I can promise that. Anyway, uh, it is great to be back with you guys. Uh, we love doing Halloween Horror Nights a week. If you guys are new to the channel and this is your first Halloween Horror Nights week video that you're watching, well, welcome. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Uh, but we do Halloween Horror Nights Week every year on the channel, usually about the week before Halloween Horror Nights to build up the anticipation and hype for the event. And so you can get the best uh, details and, and things about the event and just to share our fanboy stories as well. But today is no before you go. And there is a lot of big changes coming to Halloween Horror Nights this year. I even pulled up some of their tips. I'll even throw a little bit of those every now and then. But we have uh, our five that we really want to share with you. Uh, starting off with the first thing that's a, a big thing that, that started this year, which was uh, early access to the event. Now, in the past, early access was included with every single ticket, and now this year, they decided that they want to um, add it as an, a, a ticket extension. So you have to pay for that depending on the night you go. It starts at $10, but it can go anywhere uh, uh, from 10 and up. Um, the later you get into Halloween, the more expensive it's going to be. So we suggest go to the event pretty early on. Uh, I know in our in our tickets video, we did mention that a lot of the event is selling out early the first opening weekends. So hurry up and get those tickets and hurry up and get those uh, early entry tickets because there is uh, only limited quantity every single night, as Sammy mentioned in the last video. Uh, so definitely take advantage of that early entry because that is going to get you access to all the mazes that are in the lower lot. Uh, first, uh, last year was the weekend, uh, and I believe, Universal Monsters and Killer Clowns. Uh, so this year, you could probably expect Stranger Things 4, which is a heavy hitter uh, IP. The Exorcist Believer, Holidays in Hell, and The Last of Us down there are going to be some of the early entry mazes. Um, so take advantage of those, especially Stranger Things and The Last of Us. Uh, and the pretty much all of them. They're all going to be heavy hitters this year, and you, you want to make sure you go through all of them because I'm just saying Hellfire Club. Hellfire Club is right. Um, our second tip um, is a tip that uh, you will get a ton from me. Uh, I'm a big man. I'm heavy on my feet. We both big men. Uh, let's be honest. Yeah. So my recommendation is make sure you have a nice pair of shoes because uh, you will be doing some walking uh, between and, and you'll do, be doing a lot of standing as, as you're waiting in lines, um, especially if you're on a general admission ticket. Um, so make sure you have some good support in those shoes. Um, you know, maybe don't wear your flyest shoes or your cutest shoes out there. Um, you know, maybe wear something a little, little more athletic, you know, a walking shoe, a running shoe, something, something like that. Heck, you might even get a little scared. You might have to, you know, uh, you know, put them, uh, put them Crocs in sports mode, if you know what I mean, um, to, to make it through. Um, especially if you're getting there early uh, with early entry, you're going to be getting in an hour and a half early. So the event starts normally at 7 p.m. If you're on early entry, that's 530. The event's going till 1, 2 a.m. if you're staying from beginning to end. Um, so that's a long day. Um, and so our recommendation is wear some good shoes because you're going to be doing some walking as you're walking down to the back lot, walking down to the Curious George parking lot, walking through the tear tram. You'll be catching some hills. Um, sadly, you won't be going back to the back lot anymore. Rest wait, 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 wait. You said we're going to be <laughs> run to the hills. Is that what you're saying? Run to the... No, I was thinking I was singing running up the hills from Stranger Things, but you know, um, running up that hill. Yeah. Shout out but, Kate Bush. Be, but there's multiple hills at Horn Eye, so I said hills. Yeah. Yeah, so you're going to be doing a ton of walking. Uh, uh, so make sure you pack some – or make sure you have some real nice shoes. Uh, and, you know, you try to find some fly shoes. I mean, but they, comfort is important because uh, you will regret it if not, um, especially if you're parking all the way on the other side of City Walk um, and you're walking back at the end of the night. It is a it's a bit of a it's a bit of a walk there. So uh, some comfy shoes is our second recommendation. Yeah, um, another recommendation for me is uh, 
keep an eye on your weather uh, on the night you're going. Um, I remember vividly one night we went and it actually rained. It rained a few times last haunt season. Um, but I remember one night we went and it rained uh, and we were not prepared for that. But it kind of felt uh, humid, like uh, a sense of like some, like how Florida weather feels, if anyone's ever been to Florida. Um, but it, it kind of felt humid. So just dress accordingly to what the weather is going to be like. Usually, it, as far as me and Sammy goes, because we're big guys, it, we get really hot quick, especially moving around and everything and being around the crowd. So uh, keep in mind of uh, maybe some shorts along like what Sammy said, those walking shoes will come in handy. Um, a lot, maybe a short sleeve shirt, you know, that's what usually Sammy and I wear. Or if you, if you get cold easily, make, make sure to bundle up because you, you know, you're going to be doing a lot of walking and you're going to be at night. Um, so you want to make sure you're as comfortable as possible and, uh, you're, uh, you feel great. Um, so yeah, dress accordingly and check that weather. Yeah. Especially because the uh, fun part about Horror Nights is it's basically two months now, um, beginning of September all the way through October 31st. And so that weather can look quite different. Um, from the beginning, because it's probably going to be real warm at the beginning. And by the end of the season, it can be a little bit colder, a little bit more chilly. So you may need that sweater. Um, or uh, if it does rain, uh, you might you know, want a little hood or a hat. These days. Never know. Um, speaking of never know, um, my number four is a big, I'm a big fan of this. It's very crucial. Uh, is hydration. Hydration is important, um, especially at the beginning of the season, since it is typically warmer. Um, so our recommendation is to stay hydrated uh, because, once again, long day. You want to make sure you're having water, um, especially uh, because Horror Nights does uh, have some alcohol, too. Um, and so hydration is key um, so that when you're doing all that walking, you stay good. And if you if you know if you're partaking in uh, some adult beverages, you'll also stay good. Um, so hydration is our, our fourth recommendation. Get that water uh, prior um, and then, well, at the event, don't don't be shy. Go stop and grab some water. It's always a good time. Um, another big one that I want to express, and it's something that we constantly advocate here on the channel, is uh, please, under no circumstances, do not, I repeat, please do not touch, hit, or punch, kick, anything physical towards the scare actors. They are there to do a job, to sell a story, to tell a story, and to scare you. That is the ticket you pay for. That is in the directions when you buy said ticket. Under any circumstances, is it not, is it okay to punch or hit anybody at the event? No violence allowed. We're there for, to experience these IPs. We're there to experience these mazes. I know last year there was a little bit of a controversy at Halloween Horror Nights when a guy kind of shoved his character. Not cool. Not cool at all. Please. They are here to do a job. They are here to scare you. This is what you paid for. Be respectful and uh, just be very compliment. You know, if they got you, you know, be like, hey, you know, you got me, you know, or, you know, just enjoy the event. Just hands to yourself. If you can't control that, hands in your pocket. Uh, but we highly, we highly advocate on the channel. Do not harass or mess with or get physical with any scare actors or employees or just anyone uh fans or anything um because one it makes you look like an asshole two you're gonna get kicked out of the park and you spent all this money to be there why are you gonna get kicked out and three you just kind of bring down the whole like if you're with a party they're gonna get kicked out too and you you're gonna piss them off too just don't I have to say it. I'm going to say it when we do Knots Week because I, I can't advocate that much, uh, enough. There, There's constantly incident, incidents every single year with that, and it's it's very sad. So uh, please be respectful and enjoy the event. All right, back on a fun note here. Here we go. Back on the fun note is make a game plan before you go. Um, we have eight terrifying houses. We have a terror tram. Uh, we have some shows that may or may not be announced anytime soon. Um, so make a game plan uh, with your group and know, hey, what do we what do we really want to do? Um, and, and so that you can make sure that you hit those things. As as we've alluded to multiple times already, those lines get a little long. Um, so you know, making sure you prioritize the things that you're most eager to do um, is important. So if you know Stranger Things is important, get there early. Uh, you know, buy that early admission if if you can, or or buy express, um, um, and make a game plan of what you want to see, 
um, as well as pay attention to when things close, uh, like specific to the Terra Tram. I know the Terra Tram closes earlier than the event, um, so the last tram leaves at a a, a various time, a, a varying time depending on when the event Usually around eleven p.m. Yeah, um, so making sure if you're really eager to go out and see exterminators um, and walk through the sets of nope um, uh, against the tethered, um, yeah. you, you make, sure, make sure you get there. Uh, make sure you get in line early enough for that or um uh also pay attention because uh although early entry begins about an hour and a half prior to the event uh not everything is open right then um so pay attention uh to what is open uh so that you can make sure you hit those things that are early open, or that are open early um and so that you'll have more time to enjoy everything else um as well as uh, know where you're going in the park um, with that game plan, because if you want to make sure you're seeing the Death Eaters out in uh, in the Hogwarts, um, you know, you're going to want to make sure you're, you're going the right way to see that. If there's shows, uh, checking out when the show times are. Um, so really kind of coming together, making a game plan. Uh, we'll be releasing a video on that later towards the season, um, as well as if you're venturing out later into the season, go ahead and watch other people um, and, and get their expertise in this field. Um, because they may have the opportunity to go more often, um, and they can provide you more insight into that into that area. Yeah, hundred percent. And I don't. Do you have any other game plans? I have one more, or any other. But I have that's one more. last one. Last one's all you, my friend. All right, the last one, and this is a very important one, and this goes to everyone across the board because you will get hot, you will get a little sweaty. Stay hydrated. Um, you I said are, that already. Oh, did I you? said okay. that. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. And then, uh, then the last thing I can leave off, have a great time. Have fun. You're there to enjoy the event. You're there to enjoy these IPs, these originals. You're there to get scared and have a good time. Have a great time. You're going to want to make a lot of memories because we have made a ton of memories at Halloween Horror Nights over the years. And we are going to continue to make said memories. So have a great time and uh, enjoy at, at the most because this year is going to be great. But with that being said, we want to tell you, uh, we appreciate all you guys um, recently, and I, and I have mentioned this on a video before, but you guys uh, have been constantly supporting us since the beginning, and uh, we're 3,000 subscribers later, and you guys are still supporting us to this day, and we love each and every one of you. We appreciate all of you. Anyone that comes and says hi to us, you know, or just comments on our videos or interacts with us on, on Instagram or on our social medias. It means the world to us um, because, you know, we didn't think that a lot of people would be interested to see what we had to say. And now we dedicate an entire week to Halloween Horror Nights because we want to give everyone, our audience, the best advice possible to enjoy the event and make sure you go through everything. And that's what this week is dedicated to. So with that being said, tune in tomorrow for another Horror Nights video on day four of HHN week. Uh, but until then, we will see you guys tomorrow.